Today at Robert's Guitar Dungeon, we're talking about the best clean sounding amps ever. <music> Guitar players everywhere are always on the prowl for the cleanest sounding amp that they could find. Whether it be a clean sounding amp that takes their pedals very well, or simply because that is the tone that they're looking for. I've compiled a list of the 10 best clean tones that I have ever run across in all of my years, both in and around the guitar business. Some of these amps are gonna be pretty obvious picks that are world renowned for the clean tone. Uh, others are just some of my personal favorites. Regardless, here's 10 of them. Let's get started. Number 10, the Panama Shaman 20. Panama Guitars are a newer company that started up here in the last 10 years or so, I believe. And the Shaman 20 is the two-channel slash four-voicing 20-watt offering uh, and arguably one of their best sellers. I have used this amp extensively in a number of my videos, specifically for the clean tone because I really like the way that it takes overdrive and distortion pedals. The various gain stages on this amp might not be for everybody, but the clean tone is absolutely stellar. Please check out some demo videos and don't overlook this very moderately priced clean sounding amplifier. Number nine, Ampeg SVT Classic. This is actually a bass amp, but back in the 60s and 70s, rock guitar players started taking to this amp specifically for its, not only for its clean tone, but also its insane amount of headroom. This amp nowadays comes loaded with six 6550 power tubes for a whopping 300 watts, which is an insane amount of power. However, if it's warm sounding clean tone with insane amounts of headroom that you're looking for, this might be an amp worth checking into. Number eight, Randall Diablo series. This is the only other amp on this list that I actually own, the Panama Shaman 20 being the other. And the reason why I bought this amp is because I wanted a monitor sounded gain amp, but I also wanted it to have a very, very good clean sound. And not only is the clean tone on these amps spectacular, but it is surprisingly spectacular. Almost Fender-esque. And I've been shocked over and over and over again how well this, this amp takes particular pedals and has given me the freedom to do a number of things regarding pedal demos for my channel. These are probably not amps that are going to go down in the annals of history as some of the greatest, greatest rock tones ever, but again, if it's a good clean sound that you're looking for and you're on a budget, check into the Randall Diablo series. I think you might be very surprised. Number seven, Wampler Bravado series. I couldn't include a list about clean sounding amplifiers without including the Wampler Bravado. I've said it before and I'll say it again, Brian Wampler is an absolute genius when it comes to designing gear. This amp was designed specifically with the mindset of being a, a very solid pedal platform. Hence, it is a very, very clean sounding amp. And he didn't just design this amp as a pedal platform with his own pedals in mind. He had all pedals in mind when designing this amp. So if you're, a pedal, if you're a pedal junkie and it's a good solid clean sounding pedal platform that you're looking for, check out the Wampler Bravado. This might be the ticket for you. Number six, Mesa Boogie Lone Star. Mesa Boogie amplifiers are world renowned for a number of reasons. Rock and metal players really seem to enjoy the Rectifier series. Players like John Petrucci, Guns N' Roses, Izzy Stradlin, and the early days of Metallica's James Hetfield have all hailed from the mighty Mark series amplifiers from Mesa Boogie and its various different incarnations. If you're looking for good solid clean tone from Mesa Boogie, look no further than the Lone Star series. They're warm, they have a ton of headroom, and it's a different kind of clean, but a fantastic, fantastic clean sound and a fantastic pedal platform to use from Mesa Boogie. These amps are awesome. Number five, high watt DR-103. The DR in this amplifier stands for Dan Reeves, the man who designed this amplifier. What set the high watt amplifiers aside from the other great big British sounding amps of the era like Marshalls and Foxes were not only was this amp renowned for its clean tone, but clean tone at extremely high volumes. You could crank these amps up and they would continue to get louder and louder and louder to ear piercing volume levels. However, Getting them to break up was very, very difficult because they always maintain their clean sound regardless of how high you turn them up. 
That's what made these amps famous and that's what continues to make them sought after today. Number four, the 1966 and 67 Marshall Black Flag JTM50. Marshall amps are not exactly known for their clean sounds because everybody likes to crank the volume up on these to get that classic Marshall tone. And models like the JMPs, the Plexis, and the JC Made 100 have all defined at complete decades of music. Prior to that, however, if you look for the mid to late 60s Marshalls, particularly the 66 and 67 Black Flag JTM 50s, these amps are surprisingly clean sounding. If you're not familiar with the history of Marshall amps, their first amplifier essentially was the exact same circuit as a Fender Bassman. However, some of the components that were much easier to come by in the United States, such as classic tone transformers and 6L6 power tubes, were not nearly as easy to find over in the UK. So Jim Marshall had to substitute with things such as the Mercury Magnetics transformers and EL34 power tubes. And the combination, essentially, is what gave us the Marshall tone. By the middle late 60s, Marshall had not quite strayed too far from this particular circuit yet, so the clean sounds that you were able to get out of these amps are surprisingly good. Number three, Vox AC15 and the AC30. The Vox AC series amplifiers have a clean sound that I have never been able to describe any other way other than jangly. And what I mean by that is it's not too bright, it's not too warm, it's right there in the middle with a nice little dash of British flavor to it, making the clean sound on this one just right. Number two, Fender Twin Reverb, Fender Deluxe Reverb, Fender Tw Princeton Reverb, and on and on and on. I couldn't separate these. I had to include them all as one entry because I was trying to pick one over any of the others, as well as so many other Fender amplifiers out there, would just be, it's just too difficult and there's no way that I would have ever gotten it right. So if I thought it best to include all of the classic Fender amps all into the same listing itself. And then there's, and these three are not alone. You could easily also include other models of, the, of theirs like the Super Reverb, the Vibrolux, even some of the Hot Rod series amps. The Fender Clean Tone is arguably the most recognized clean tone on the planet and has been used from everybody from Eric Clapton to Metallica. It's very, very bright, very clear, very glassy sounding and very pleasing to a lot of ears. And I absolutely love the way that it takes modulation pedals. Fender, the Fender Clean Tone, it is very, very tough to beat. Number one, the Roland JC120 Jazz Chorus. Not only is this the only solid state amp on this list, but it made number one for a reason. The Roland Jazz Chorus is world renowned for nothing else other than its clean sound. It does have a distortion channel, but I've never heard anybody rave about the gain sounds that they get out of the JC120. However, everybody buys this amp for the clean sound. I think the reason why so many guitar players love this amp, particularly as a pedal platform, is because it is EQ'd very, very flat and right in the middle. It is, you know, it's not, not very bright, it's not very warm, it's not very dark, it's none of those things. It's just very, very flat and clean, which is about the most perfect platform that any guitar player can build their tone upon. That also combined with the fact that it's 120 watt solid state, which is normally not very impressive when you're talking about solid state amplifiers. However, this one doesn't get muddy when you crank it up. This one has a ton of headroom, which is another one of the things that made this amp famous. They're absolute boat anchors to lug around, but man, is the tone fantastic out of them. This amp first came out back in the 1970s and is still made today with very, very few changes made along the way. If you love, if you love clean tones, this is the amp that you need to start looking for. So there you have it. There's my list of top 10 cleanest sounding amps ever. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorites might be. You know, some of them may be on this list. Some of them may be others that I've never heard or had the opportunity to experiment with. And I would love to know your thoughts. Uh, links to all of the gear discussed in this video will be included down in the description. And last but not least, Hopefully you found this video entertaining and you might consider hitting the subscribe button on my channel and receive alerts of when I upload new videos every Wednesday and Saturday morning. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.
know what? There are tons of young people out there that want to get involved in music and do not have the means to do so. If you are watching this video, most likely you're a musician and many experienced musicians have tons of broken and unwanted gear lying around that they're not doing anything with. Please visit my friends at Share the Music on Facebook at the link below and learn how you and your unwanted gear can help change somebody's life.